Today, I'm going to be installing the Ecotec Marine XR30 High Intensity Lens Kit. What's up guys? I've actually been wanting to do this video for a while, but I've been holding on to the lens kit since before Christmas when I ordered them. Because I received an email from BRS stating that my kits were missing a T10 uh, Torx bit. So I haven't really done much with them. After finally opening them, I took a look and I noticed that it said in the instructions that a T10 Torx bit is required, but it isn't included. So Boker Supply, if you end up seeing this video, you still owe me a T10 Torx bit. But no, I'm just kidding. My plan of attack today is going to be one, why would you want these lights? Two, we'll do a quick unboxing to see the contents and everything that you would get inside the package. Three, we'll do a part test on my reef aquarium. And as we do the part test, I have three Radeon XR30 Blues mounted on top. This one is a Gen uh, 6, this one is a Gen 5, and this one is a Gen 6. After we do the part test on my aquarium, we will do the install on both the G5 and the G6 radio. And then we will finally wrap up with taking a part test after the installation and final thoughts. Why would you want these lights? The current XR30 uh, Gen 6 and Gen 5 spread kind of has a spread like this. It's about 130 degrees, so replacing out the lens will take that 130 degrees and then turn it down to a more of a narrow focus until like 80 degrees. It's supposed to be more like the, what the G4 spread used to be before they changed up to the wide angle lens with this generation of the Radeons. And due to that lower angle with the narrow angle lens, we should see a increase in PAR as well. I tried doing some research, try to find a data sheet, I tried contacted uh, Ecotech. Uh, they had nothing available. There was uh, no data sheet available for the new lens on their website. The only data sheet that I can find available was from a YouTube short that Thomas did for BRS TV, and that will be available here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what you get inside the package. Um, so you get an owner's manual. You get the actual lens itself, and then you get some hardware, and inside the hardware uh, you get a set of washers, and per the manual, um, these should only be used on the G5 or the Radeon. And then you get a install tool as well. So now let's go ahead and measure the par that I get from my standard XR30s. Um, my current plan that I run is nothing special. I just run the Coral AV Plus schedule, the default settings from uh, the Mobius app, and my intensity is set up to the highest that I can get it right now, which is set for 40%. So from the top of the water on the Gen 5, I am getting around 800 to 830 par. If I check a little bit more over on this side, I am getting probably 500 to about 550. If we go down to the bottom near the bottom of the aquarium for the Gen 5. We are getting probably around 240 to 250 par. Let's go ahead and check uh, the other side, next to my green star polyps. We are getting around two, uh, about 190 to 200 par there. Alright, let's go ahead and check out what we get on the left side of the tank at the top with the Gen 6. So near the top with the Gen 6, I am getting around 700, 650 to 700 par. 
When I get down toward the bottom, we are getting around 210 to about 200 to 210 par. And if I go to the back side for the Genesex, near the back end, we are getting around 140 to 150 par. All right, let's go ahead and jump to the right side of the aquarium. We are getting around a thousand. We go down toward the bottom. We are getting around a hundred and about a hundred and fifty par. And then if I jump to the other side of the rock work, I'm getting close to probably about 175, 200 par. All right, let's go ahead and work on getting these lights installed. All right, let's go ahead and begin the installation on the G6 Radeon. So to start, I went ahead and disconnected it from the aquarium, and I also disconnected the power as well from the wall. I'm gonna use a T15 to pull these four bolts out and we will gently take the cover off be mindful not to pull too hard because this is uh, wired in right here for the power and then we are going to take our T10 and we're going to remove these 10 screws those 10 screws have been removed now we should be able to gently take that off We'll remove the old and we'll install the new. And this is where you want to take advantage of the new hardware that Ecotec provided. You will only need the new screws provided in the, in the kit. You will not need the washers for the G6. So the new hardware looks like it still uses the same T10. And as you're putting these in, you do not want to over tighten these. I just tighten them by hand until they just get to a point to where they feel snug. Alright, we'll put our cover back on. We'll grab our original four bolts, tighten these back down. We'll use the uh, T15. Only want to get them snug. Alright, there's the G6 install. Alright, and just for anybody who may be curious that wants to see a side by side comparison of the new lens versus the old this is the old lens this is the new lens let's go ahead and begin the installation on the radeon gen 5. i've already disconnected it from the aquarium and unplugged the power from the wall and the tool that's included you can actually use this tool to remove the four bolt holding the bezel to the radeon gen 5. i don't know why they only included it for the gen 5 all right, so once those have been removed, we will gently remove the cover. And then once again, the tool included, we can use that on the G5. So we'll go ahead and start removing these 10 bolts. Right, once those 10 bolts have been removed, we can gently remove the cover. The G5s will need the included washers, so we'll go ahead and add the washers. All right, once the washers have been added, we'll go ahead and add on the new lens. We'll use the supplied hardware, came with inside your hardware kit. Take the T10, just give it a couple threads to get lined up. Go ahead and get those buttoned down. No need to over tighten these. Once that's on, we'll put the cover back on. We will use the same hardware that came off the bezel to put everything back together. All right, that'll wrap up the G5 installation. We got the new lens kit installed. So let's go ahead and take the par readings. So starting off with the G5 radion near the top of the aquarium, we are getting around 
1100 to 1200 par for the G5 near the bottom. We are getting around 139 to 140. Over toward my green star polyps. We are getting around 244 to 250. On the left side of the aquarium for the G6, we are getting around 1200 to 1300 toward the bottom of the left side. We are getting around 235, 237, and then near the back side, we are getting around 139, 145. Let's go ahead and hop over to the right side. The right side near the top, we're getting around 1152 to 1100. Near the bottom, we are getting around 216 to 212 and then in the front for the G6 near the bottom we are getting around 262, 257, 260 alright let's see if these things made an improvement alright so final thoughts overall the upgrade did improve par significantly in some areas. I did put an Excel sheet together showing the final results and I'll be sure to share that on a screen here but there were some errors somewhere so that could have been uh, related to me that could have also been errors with my water flow because I left the current on or it could also be due to me not putting the par meter in the exact same place. So overall, I would say it was a pretty good upgrade, but based on the results, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. All right, please be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. It really does help me out and I appreciate you watching. All right, until the next one guys, I'm out. Peace.